In this series, we will start as a level 1, but we're only allowed to play in the infamous Bat Sport Lobby in GTA Online. We will try to acquire wealth on this account in a public lobby with the most toxic players across any game and become the king of the Bat Sport Lobby. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Welcome back to episode 15. I am just back from vacation. My first king of Bat Sport video that I'm making since vacation. I am now tan. Very nice. Nice. But a few things have happened in GTA Online since I've been online. The biggest thing is that we now have the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid, but we also got a massive ban wave off of next-gen consoles, which right now I'm playing on Xbox Series X. And pretty much to sum it all up, if there is someone that had like a really, really high level account, like 7,984, I think was the exact number, then they got banned because that was a duplicated account from someone. And then that one person just duplicated more and more accounts. And for the most part, any normal free mode session you wouldn't be running into any of those players maybe every once in a while but in the bat sport lobby i would say that was maybe like a third of the population at least so yeah i think this series might look a lot different from here on out just because of that essentially gta expelled a ton of people from the land of the bad sport because they knew that the king was in their presence i mean i appreciated rockstar but you know i could have taken care of it myself but it's fine. It's fine. But anyways, like our best friend in this series, his name was a GTA 5 random. He just messaged me and he said that his main account got banned. But luckily he had a second account, which is this pink character right here, a GTA 5 Randy. But yeah, that's just an example of someone that had their account just booted out and banned. But whatever, it's fine. Yeah, we are not level 7,984. We're at level 51. We don't even have all the coolest stuff yet. And there's still three more vehicles I still want to purchase. And today in this video, we're going to be trying to work towards buying the Deluxo next. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $333,000. And the Deluxo has a buy it now price of $5,750,000, but it has a trade price of $4,312,000. We're going to be working to be getting that trade price here today. So essentially, we need to make $4 million this episode so we can go ahead and purchase the Deluxo. But first, we're going to actually go ahead and reinstate ourselves in a bad sport lobby because, you know, that time actually ran out this time. They didn't do the BS where they said it was like 16 days that you're going to be left in a passport lobby and then they reinstate you after three. Some BS like that. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. But yeah, no, that time actually ran out this time. So let me go reinstate myself real quick. All right, so since the last time I had to like reinstate myself into a bad sport lobby, I actually went out on my secondary account. and got myself a tank, the Rhino tank, and I don't know what this car is doing here. So, oops, my finger slipped. But yeah, as I'm reinstating myself into a bad sport lobby, I'm going to talk about the Cluck and Bell raid. Now, in my opinion, I'm actually not going to do the Cluck and Bell form raid for this series because it just doesn't really make a lot of sense for us to do it in a bad sport lobby because it actually goes as an actual mission if that makes any sense. Like, there's not any free mode stuff with the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid. All of it you can do solo, and there's really no incentive at all to do it with multiple people, unlike the Kayo Perico Heist, where there's actually an incentive for us to go ahead and do it with multiple players. So I'm not going to do that in this video. But what I am going to do, which might be a little bit contradictory to what I just said, is I'm going to do Act 1 of the Doomsday Heist. I'm doing this to unlock the trade price for the Deluxo. Now, the prep work is going to be done in a public lobby, but the setups are just going to be like a normal mission. But with that, there's actually an incentive. I can get a trade prize along with making roughly a million dollars. So that's why I'm doing that today in this episode. Yeah, but anyways, let me continue getting myself back into a bad sport lobby. And then once I do, we'll be ready to go and start up act one of the Doomsday Heist. Oh, there we go. Now we're in bad sport for four days instead of two. Dude, I have to do it. Look at it over here. There's one fire truck, two fire truck. Let's make it three. Done. Sorry, fire trucks. Um, I'm sorry if you like a fire truck. Oh, I just blew up three of them right in front of your face. Um, anyways, let's go back to a public session and hopefully we can get started with our doomsday heist. Dude, wait, no, no, hold on. There's a fourth, dude. What is y'all's problem? Okay, no, 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 no. I gotta stop. I am so sorry to any firefighters out there. Y'all are great people. They'll do a lot to protect us. And I really appreciate all the work that you do, but oh my god, the game is just sending more and more fire trucks, and y'all are just a sitting duck, and I just can't do nothing about it, dude. 
see now. All right, so I'm in a public session now, back in a passport lobby, and there's seven of us in here, and there's only one person that's above a level 1,000 now, which is my friend at GTA 5, Randy. It's gonna look a lot different for the rest of this series, but it's probably gonna be better for us. But anyways, I'm gonna have to get started with this heist, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna do all the preps right now in a bad sport lobby. There's still gonna be people out here, and there's still probably pathetic people. But I don't know. We'll see how this goes. So yeah, we're gonna set it up for $25,000. Now, we actually don't have to complete this entire heist or just complete the Act 1 finale in order to unlock the trade price for the Deluxos, because as you can see, number two right there, the second prep and mission that we have to do, we have to prep the mission by stealing Deluxos, and then during the actual mission itself, we have to go ahead and use the Deluxos. And once we complete that, we'll unlock the trade price, but I don't know. It makes no sense, in my opinion, for us to go ahead and complete that setup and not just go ahead and complete the finale. So we're gonna be doing all of Act 1, and then maybe we'll do Act 2 and 3. I don't know yet, but that won't be this episode. I can guarantee you that. So yeah, all we're doing is just Act Number 1, and then we'll see how much money we have left after that. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get all this stuff. Uh, okay. I think someone's after me. I think there's an oppressor after me. There's missions where people can lock on. Oh, I just ran over a buck. Okay, wait, what? He just circled around. I'm so lost. I don't know, dude. He's like next to me, but he's not shooting at me. I don't know. Let me just deliver this deluxe. So I still have four. This mission, this prep mission sucks. We already completed the first one. This is the second one. We have to go out and we have to collect four deluxos and bring it back to our facility. Getting one's nice, but we still have to get three more. Okay, that guy just left. I don't know what that guy was doing. The thing with some missions is that sometimes people that are on an oppressor or just anything with like a homing missile, they can't lock onto a vehicle. Like when I'm doing a mission. So like, I don't know. Let me think of an example. Like doing the union depository contract, like doing that second setup where I was in the helicopter and I was just a sitting duck, but still people were missing me. And that was because they couldn't lock on. And okay, now this guy's after me. This is so cool, dude. I don't know if this guy's friendly or not. I'm going to assume he is. He's not killing me. I mean, he kind of has me dead to rights. He's laughing all over the place. I don't know, dude. Yeah, usually with all of these heists, all these doomsday heists, there's like one mission that's very similar to this where you have to go collect four different things and then deliver it back to your facility. Very annoying to do. Yeah, not only do we have to take this back to our facility, we have to respray it too, which, you know, eats up a little bit more time. Oh, I've had it too, like during this mission where like I lag out getting the last vehicle. And then when that happens, we like lose all of our progress and we have to like restart, which sucks. Hopefully that doesn't happen here. Okay, there's someone after me. There's there is someone after me. Okay. Oh, good driving, Dr. Crush. Jeez, I am rusty. Rusty. Where did he go? I don't even know where this guy went. Oh, there he is. Okay, hold on. I, okay, he's off the radar right now, clearly. And obviously, he can't lock on to me like how I said, which is obviously great. Brake check. Got him. Now let's go. Oh, yeah, got him. I am in his head. I'm living rent-free in his head right now, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Car! You piece of crap car. All right, this is the last deluxe we have to go ahead and deliver. So if this blows up, this is a mission where it doesn't matter if one blows up. Well, I mean, it matters, but it's not the end of the world because then we'll just restart this mission up and we'll only have to get one vehicle. There are other missions where if one vehicle blows up, then we'd have to do the entire mission over again. I don't think that guy's even coming after me anymore. No, he's running away. <laughs> <laughs> Loser. It's been nine days since the last King of Bad Sport episode I've recorded. So yeah, it is a beautiful sight. It's just a beautiful, beautiful sight. And obviously it's on the last one too. I mean, like why wouldn't it be on the last one? But there we go. Prep complete. All right, so we have one more prep mission that we have to go out and do. So I'm going to do that. If I remember correctly, I don't think it's that bad of a prep work mission. So I'm going to do that. And then after that, we'll get started with the actual setups. Okay, so as you can see behind me, we completed all the prep work. Work. But during that last prep work, it actually got a little bit easier for us. And I think it got easier for us because I'm pretty sure someone kicked us out of the main session, which kind of sucks. So now I'm in a session all by myself, which I mean, I can't do any of these setups or the finale all by myself. So I'm going to try to join back into that session, see if anyone wants to actually go ahead and join me. Okay. Okay. We got someone. We got someone. Okay. The guy that was going after us earlier, but didn't actually shoot at us. That guy is going to come and join us, which that'll be great. Wait, what? No. <laughs> no shot. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 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 Um, that guy that said he wanted to join or was willing to join, he never joined. So I just opened it up to the entire session. And the guy that came after me with the oppressor, the one that actually shot at me, is now joining. No shot. 
this guy actually stays. <laughs> oh, and now the other guy wants to join. Bro, well, that guy actually joined. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to be a little bit of an asshole here for a second. Um, you attempted to kill me, so you get the boot. Um, and they got, no, no. I promised that first guy. I swear, I'm so sorry, that guy. Okay, there we go. This is our squad. It's... <laughs> A little bit of chaos there, but this is our squad. Oh my god, I just realized my freaking vehicles are terrible. I guess I'll use the Obey Ominous EGT, but good lord, I don't like actually have like a good setup vehicle. Wow, that's crazy, dude. I'm so used to like going into these missions with like at least an armored Karuma. All right, here we go. We're doing the first setup right here. I mean, it's either getting this Obey Ominous EGT. Oh, never mind. I don't even need to get into it. But either I use the Obey Ominous EGT, I use the Buffalo STX. Both are Armani Tech vehicles. Now thinking about it. Buffalo SDX might be a little better in this scenario. But then I could use my Sentinel XS, my HSW vehicle. But like, meh. It's not even that quick, like, overall. It might be my quickest vehicle, but it's still not quick, you know, overall. And then I have the two podium vehicles that I have one, and that's it. That's all the vehicles I have on this account. So I could use the Albany, bring them, and then that other vehicle that I don't even remember what it's called. Can I look up what it's called real quick? Oh, the Rebla GTS. Yeah, I have not touched that vehicle since I've won it off the podium wheel. Oh, yeah, I also put this on hard. <laughs> I actually put this on hard. I just want to see how it goes. Yeah, there's really no incentive for me to put it on hard until the finale. The setups don't give me anything more other than XP, but you know, I'm not here for XP. I'm here for money. Me putting it on hard is pointless right now, but finale, yeah, we'll definitely put it on hard. All right, so we're in this building. We have to go find a media stick and some people. Okay, I haven't done this setup in a while, but none of those bodies actually had the media stick. So I have to go to the coroner's office. But bro, how do these people not realize who I am? Like, I get I have like a paramedic outfit on, but like, do you not see the big cone on my head? <laughs> I feel like Patrick during that one episode where he pretends like he's a police officer, but he's wearing an ice cream cone on his head. That's how I feel right now. These guys don't even like notice a thing. Morons. Ready, set, bop. Bop. Nice, cool. Oh, great. I alerted people. Oh, it doesn't matter that I alerted people. Not the worst thing in the world that I kind of screwed. Ah, it's on hard mode. I got hit a little bit there. I almost died there for a second, but luckily I realized what was going on. Okay, there we go. I just downloaded some stuff off of a laptop, which is awesome. So now we can exit. Ah, hey, 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 hey. Uh uh. Uh uh. Mm -mm, mm -mm, game. I'm holding down left trigger to try to aim a gun. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I was too close to the window, but my goodness. You know, it just prevented me from trying to get a kill right there. That's great. Thanks, game. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, at least we spawn up here, though. Yeah, I'll blame that on Russ. You know, nine days off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll blame it on that. Maybe not the smartest idea to put this on hard mode, but whatever. That was just me being dumb. Dude. Dude. What am I doing? Bro, I gotta shake off the cobwebs. Yeah, come on. Come on, doctor. Come on, Dr. Crush. Let's get into it. Don't want this guy to leave. You know, he hasn't done anything wrong. It's just been me. All right, yeah, definitely after this setup, we're not putting any more setups on hard. Even though I honestly don't even think that the next setup will be that difficult on hard, but whatever. You know, we're just gonna put it on easy. Oh, did he leave? Wait, the recovery failed. Dude, I think he left. There's no way that he failed that quickly. Bro. Yeah, great. Great. That's on me. I don't blame him. That's on me. All right, I'm back at the lucky wheel, though. I'll take a little bit of a break, you know. Take a nice wheel spin here. Maybe win a casual vehicle. I think the vehicle is the Osiris. I can't really see from right there. Where is the vehicle? Uh, I just a little too far. Clothing. I mean, I'm not gonna put anything over my king's outfit. A white goofy hoodie. Is that what that's supposed to say? Or guffy, goofy? I don't know. I'd rather have that Osiris. I think that's the Osiris. I'd rather have that right there. But it's okay. Whatever, whatever. All right, so we're trying this setup once again. I have a new teammate. It was one of the guys I kicked out earlier. But um, yeah, we're doing it with this guy now. This one's on normal now. I forgot. There's no easy mode on this, but there is a normal. We're doing this now on normal mode. You know, I tried to be cute with it earlier and be like, ho, 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 ho. Let's do it on hard when really it didn't have to. Just being stupid. Well, I screwed that up again, dude. I can't do this stealthy for some weird reason. Good lord. I don't know. I've done this stealthy before. For some reason, I can't do it right now. Okay, I already see my teammates already picked up the helicopter, which is very nice. So all I have to do is what I did last. Okay, let's get away from the window this time and start shooting. Anyways, yeah, my teammate... Ha oh, I forgot that guy's there. Just jumped straight at him. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is my teammate has the helicopter, so he's supposed to, like, come and pick me up. 
No, 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 no. I was reloading. Stupid, stupid guy. We're almost out. I just gotta kill a few more people. Come on, poke your head. Nice. No, no, I died here from reloading last time. Me and reloading is not going well right now. Okay, nice. I think we're good. I think we're good now. <laughs> Finally. It's still not pretty, but it's effective. Okay, we're here. Oh, uh, we have to regroup in the savage. Where's my teammate? Okay, my teammate's about to land. My teammate. Oh, God. Okay, you can do. Ah! That didn't kill me. You know, let's just go on the road. Let's go on the road. How about that? Yeah, yeah just land on the road. We don't have to recreate the... Okay, please deploy your landing gear or not. <laughs> It's fine, I guess. Okay, I'm in now. Okay. Wow. All right, so now we just have to deliver the savage, but we have to lose the cops. Okay. Um, I guess this guy's very allergic to landing gear. Um, but hey, I guess we don't need it. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. It's like one. Ah, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Uh, is it working? Is it not working? I don't know, dude. I don't think this guy realizes that you need to deploy the landing gear. You had it up at one point. This is the crazy. P oh, there it is. Wait, I thought I saw it. Or maybe I'm tripping. Bro, 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 bro. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to do this. No, 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 no. I need to kick him. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. I'll take care of this. I'll take care of. Oh. Okay. That worked. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bizarre. Okay. Helicopters. They have landing gear. Planes have landing gear. Let's use it. Let's use it. You know, the manufacturers didn't put landing gear on these aircraft for the fun of it. They put landing gear on these different aircraft so it can help us land. Bro. Dude, this guy says he's in here for four months. Dude, that's crazy. You know, I could be here for longer, but, you know, the game said, nah, we're going to reset you all the way back to two. Thanks, game. What is that? Four months? That's like 20. 28 days, not 20. I mean, 128 days, roughly. Dude, that's crazy. 128 days in bad sport. All right, so we're jumping into setup number two here. The signal intercepts one. This is the one where we actually need the deluxe. This is the one where we complete it, then it will unlock the trade price for the deluxe. All right, and here we go. Here are two deluxes that we need to steal. Or not steal. I've already stolen them. We need to use these deluxes. This is the thing that we're going to be buying later on today. All right, so essentially with this mission, we have to go near four different vehicles at the moment and hack them. Oh yeah, this Deluxo, it has missiles and a machine gun on it. Yeah, and a lot of bad sport players like to use the Deluxo because it's obviously a good counter to the Oppressor Mark too. And that's kind of the reason why I want to get it. Anyways, I'm hacking one right now. I try to stay close to the van as possible, kind of like this, so the guys in the back, they don't shoot me. See, now they're shooting me, but I can just shoot them because I already hacked them. And yeah, there we go. So essentially, my teammate's also doing the same thing I am right now. Kind just splitting up the work. But this mission is a little bit weird. This mission is a little weird because you have this Deluxo, but you kind of like unlock the abilities with the Deluxo as you like continue this mission, if that makes any sense. Like when you think of a Deluxo, you think of it flying through the air. And obviously we're not flying through the air right now. And it's not allowing me to. Once we hack all these targets right here, we're going to unlock another capability of the Deluxo. No, 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 no. Made it. Oh, geez. Y'all are stuck. Bro, they're stuck in the trap. <laughs> They got pinned. Oh my. Oh my. How embarrassing. They're, no, they're literally stuck. Here, I'll help you. Oh my God, that missed. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think there's one more target that we have to take out. Oh yeah, by the way, we have to do all this in 20 minutes, which shouldn't be a problem, but if you have like a really bad teammate, it could be a problem, but I don't think for us that should be a concern. Okay, there we go. Um, My teammate got the last hack and now we have unlocked another capability, which is for us to hover. We can't go up in the air yet. But don't try to tell me there is a way because there is no way right now. Don't embarrass yourself by commenting if you're going to say something stupid like that. Okay, there we go. That one's hacked. Uh, there's one more over here and then hopefully my teammate will get the other two bro can you stop shooting at me oh, i'm on red health dude this is a problem what happened a deluxo was destroyed <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Now we don't have to hack those first targets. We can just go ahead and go to the ones that are over the water. Okay, there we go. That one's done. Um, I'm actually gonna have to eat snacks, dude. Okay, there we go. That one's done. Oh, we still have two more to go. Uh, hopefully my teammate will get them. Because it's gonna be... Oh, jeez. Why did I go underneath the pier? This is bad, dude. This thing's a little awkward to control. Okay, never mind. So now what we have to do is we just have to go to LSIA, which is where I'm pretty much already at. All right, so we finally all made it here. Uh, so yeah, there's a big plane that's going to be right here. And essentially, we have to hack this target. And look, 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 look. Now we can actually go up. See, this is our final ability unlock. So yeah, now we can fly up in the air like an airplane. But yeah, we have to hack this big plane. And somehow it's faster than me, dude. Why? <laughs> oh my God, that was the most absurdly long hack ever. Good 
lord. There we go. Bye. Oh, oh, you want to take multiple shots, huh? Fine. Take it. Jeez, I didn't want it. There you go. Yeah. Eat that. Then that can eat that. Cool. Now I just have to deliver to the Luxos to the drop off. That took way longer than I remember. Jeez. All right, and there we go. Mission passed. We have one more setup to do, and then we have the finale. So let's jump into our final setup. All right, so we're jumping into the final setup, which is going to be server farm. Now, server farm, it's kind of known for being like a hard mission. But to be honest, like I usually have good luck while doing it. But that might change just because I said that. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Usually this goes pretty well for me. It's honestly gone so well for me that it's come to the point where I kind of expect it to go well. But I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. All right, so we're here at the government facility roof. Now, we pretty much have to do this entirely stealthy. At least that's the goal. Bro, okay, no, that's so stupid, dude. He didn't alert a guard. I'm just gonna be honest. There's some sort of, like, glitch that happens there. I have no earthly idea why that happens, but he didn't do anything wrong. Okay, our real first attempt, since the game kind of robbed us of our first attempt. Okay, so take out that guy like so. There's a camera right here. Take it out. Got that. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna take out that guy and that guy for fun. Good. We're gonna go around here. Now, there's gonna be two guards that are gonna peer around this corner. I'm gonna have to be quick and take them both out. I don't know where my teammate is. Oh, I can hear him running, I think. Ready, set. Let's go. Nice. I think my teammate got one of them. Good, good, good. Okay. So now we're going to go to the rear entrance for now. Now we have to get into cover. And now an important person is walking out. Don't know who that is technically, but I do know that he's dead. Okay. So we need his access. That's what he had. He had access codes. Okay. All right, cool. Got that. Uh, We're not done yet though. We have a little bit more. And then we have to sneak around. So we need to go over here. Oh, there's two people right here. So ready, set, bop. Bop, dead, cool. Uh, take out the camera. He's about to walk. Oh my God, my teammate almost walked right through the camera. Uh, we're gonna walk through here, go this way. There's a guy walking right there. He's not walking anymore. He is flat on his back. And now it's time for us to head inside the server form. Okay, so from here, we don't have to- Oh my God! Okay, that was not the voice that that guy should have had. I'm gonna be honest. That was a very, just say, feminine voice. I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna split up for my teammate right now. If I see someone, then I'll kill him. But I'm gonna try to go around people. It's gonna be my goal, at least for right now. All right, so I've made it all the way to this hack. Okay, this hack is very, very different. So we just kind of have to guess, like, where these boxes on the left side go with the right side. So you kind of just guess here, and then you test. And like, oh, that's the only one that works. Okay, cool. So now, uh, I don't even remember what I exactly did the first time. So you gotta guess again. Okay, cool. Test. Awesome. Okay, so then I do this and then this and then that stuff. Oh, 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 I gotta do this. Then, the okay, okay. That's it. All right, cool. It's a little interesting, but there we go. Oh my God, I got that perfectly. Let's go. Try to run back to my teammates, see if I can help them out at all. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think once we hack that third one, I think enemies start to spawn in. I'm pretty sure. Or they at least get alerted. So yeah, now they know where we're at, which this part, eh, I don't think is that bad. It's just the outside part is the part that's like really, really, I guess, annoying for people. Okay, there we go. My teammate just got that hack. So yeah, let's go to the lab exit. Let's get out of here. So I mean, like this part, you don't even have to really kill a lot of people. You can just just run right past them. Just sprint. Just go into Usain Bolt mode and just go right past everyone. And they'll barely hurt you. And then if you're smart and have snacks, well, you eat some snacks. But then this part, there's going to be a few people like that guy, smack a guy, smack another guy, and boom. Ah, uh, there might be another guy up here. Oh, two more. Oh. Wow, cool. All right, and now we're going back upstairs. All right, so now there's a ton of enemies outside of here that we have to take out. And this is kind of the tougher part. It reminds me a lot of a Pacific Standard, like, finale. Like, it's that many people. Bro, my teammate just completely ignored that guy and died. <laughs> Oh, teammate. Oh, you are a funny guy. Okay, I'm gonna start um, making my way forward. We're gonna start climbing up to the roof and get back into that helicopter that we took here. All right, so I'm in the Akula. My teammate's about to get in the Akula. Uh, let's activate stealth mode and let's get out of here. All right, and there we go. We landed the Akula and there we go. Set up past. All right, before we get into the finale, I just want to show you like who's in this session right now. And this is kind of like a perfect example of like what that band wave kind of did for a bat sport lobby. You can pretty much tell that most of these guys are in triple digits levels. I would say like half of them back in the day before the band wave, they're in quadruple digits, like legit. Now there's only one that I can tell you. There's one. I mean, that's crazy, dude. I mean, it's a big impact for this series. No, 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 no shot. Dude. Bro, oh, you can ban a bunch of people, but you cannot fix an input glitch. Jeez, look. 
Doing everything here. Yeah. Great, dude. That is so great. Oh my god. I'm have to quick go back in. Oh my god. I hate that so much, dude. Oh my god. I have to wait till Lester contacts me. Like, come on, Lester. Just pick up the phone and you say, hey, start this thing up, loser. And that's all you have to say. Why do I have to run away? Oh my god. That pisses me off. So I run into that problem a lot. I literally have to like run away. Sometimes he'll call me from right here, but uh it doesn't look like it. But yeah, usually I have to go outside. Then once I get outside, he'll be like, hey, hey, Dr. Crush. Hey, hey, you remember that planning room that you were just right next to? Yeah, come back. Come on, Lester. Yeah, there he is. Hey, hey, Dr. Crush. Hey, yeah, go back to that planning room you're right next to. Come on, Lester. I don't have a problem with you usually. Well, it's not even like a Lester problem. It's a game problem. You know, it's not like the actual character Lester himself, but ugh, they really want me to hate Lester there, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm a fan of Lester. Okay, I'm back and oh, look. Oh, wow. A cutscene that I can't skip because I haven't done this yet, but still a cutscene. Wow. All right, so we're here at the finale with someone else. Unfortunately, that guy didn't want to join back. This guy is demanding or requesting 20%, which is fine. I'll give him 20. That's fine. And 5% is not the biggest deal in the world. So poor guy that helped us throughout all those setups. I think literally because of that input glitch, I had to like shut down my game and restart the game. I think it might have deterred that guy, which kind of sucks. I tried to communicate with him, but he never responded, which I feel really bad because he helped me literally through all the setups. Uh, anyways, we're here doing the data breaches, which this is on hard. This is on hard mode. All right, so we're here. Uh, usually I take a career for this part, even though you don't really need to. Oh, uh, yeah, we need to take out a bunch of enemies. Or not a bunch, just like a few. Okay, there we go. All the enemies have been taken out. So now let's go on inside of here. Let's go start this thing up. All right, so essentially for this one, we just have to take out a bunch of people. That's it. Literally it. Nothing really crazy. Just shoot a bunch of guys. It's like the easiest concept one. You just take out a bunch of people. But I do think act number two is easier. Act two is so easy, dude. I don't know how anyone has issues with act number two. Act one, like, yeah, especially if you're a low level. I think with the level I'm at right now, I'm all right, but if I was a low level, this would be kind of tricky. And plus, my team is actually doing really well. He's carving out a very nice path for me, which I really appreciate. Okay, nice. We're moving down here. This is going by very quickly, too, which is good. So this is the lowest paying one, which is kind of unfortunate because technically we're not going to be making a million dollars, but I think we do get a first time bonus for this, so we will make barely over a million. But yeah, this is really the only time we're going to be doing this. Oh, almost died there. Bro, my team is a baller, dude. He's taking out, I'd say, like two thirds of the guys, I would say, roughly. All right, cool. Took out everyone there. So now we need to go to the war room and take out some enemies outside. Uh-oh, my teammate died. Oh, I just punched that guy to death. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> but my teammate died. Bro, low key, that might have been elite challenge pace. I've never completed the elite challenge for this, but the pacing on that was very quick. That's all right. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, we hit this point, so the rest of this should be pretty easy. All right, so let's head over here. We're inside the war room. We need to get into one of these turrets. And now we just need to take out everyone. Yeah, there's a ton of enemies that are just like running up on us right now. Like that guy. Didn't even get the kill on that, but like even like helicopters like this. If I can hit a shot. There we go. Okay, so now the enemies are supposed to be fleeing. Uh, they can flee to a different realm. We'll take them out like this. Uh, where's the last guy? Right there. Boom. I don't even see any more enemies. Where are there more enemies? Okay, there are none. All right, so that's pretty much it. It's a very quick finale. Now we have to sit through a cutscene. All right, and there we go. Heist pass. All right, so I'm going to get 80% of this take, which is going to be $970,000. Uh, but I get a $50,000 first time bonus for this. The first time bonus will be a lot bigger once we complete all of these heists, but I don't even know if I'm even going to do that. I still got to think about that. All right, so now we're sitting on $1,309,000. All right, so this is a deluxo again, and now you can clearly see it's only one price so we have unlocked the trade price by doing that setup so yeah now we just need to make roughly three million dollars in order to purchase the deluxo but i'm gonna come back for another day and do that so i'll see you when we continue this episode all right so i'm back for day number two for this episode and currently right now i'm inside of my cassette again and i would like to do another kyo Brico heist and i haven't done the kyo Brico heist i think now in 10 days on this account either 10 or 11 days something like that and pretty much when you have like an extended amount of time in between kyo Brico heist the more likely chance you will of getting the pink diamond so i'm really hoping that comes into fruition today we get another pink diamond i got it once i would like to get it again so okay, let's go over here let's give up a hundred thousand dollars of my hard-earned money and set up a kaya brico heist all right what's gonna be in the vault this time bear bonds 
best. I think it's actually the second best one I could get right now, but it's still not even close to Pink Diamond, so that's unfortunate. Whatever, maybe I'll get an extra 100,000 just because I'm getting that. Oh my god, dude, they only gave me two bundles of gold. Oh man, dude, that's gonna cost me even more money. Ugh, really the primary target is not that big of a deal as far as how much money I make. It's more of the gold. It really is. Gold's a big deal, and they just kind of screwed me out of it. Said, ah, here's two bundles for you. Appreciate it, game. Thanks. All right, so once again, I'm gonna go through all these setups, and then if anything crazy goes on, you'll see me rage or absolutely juke the person out or make them look stupid, something like that, and then we'll be ready for the finale. Uh-oh. 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 Here we go. I should have saw that coming. I really should. I literally flew right over that freaking oppressor. I didn't lock on the oppressor, but I just flew right over. I was kind of just, you know, in the zone doing my own thing. And then that happened. It's the only thing that's really happened so far. Not too bad. I don't know. Let's keep going. All right. So I fully set up the Kaya Perico heist, but I'm not actually going to start it today. I'm going to start up a Diamond Casino heist, though. I'm going to just set it up and do the first mission. That's going to be pretty much it. I'm a little bit busy today. So yeah, let's head over to my arcade and then I'll go ahead and set that up. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We haven't had this in a while, but it's it's here. It is here. A final crime scene. Earlier in this series, I think back during the single digit episodes, we were collecting a bunch of crime scenes like so quickly, which if you don't know, it's these areas right here. There's these little blue dots right here. Okay, it was like an actual blue dot. And you can pick up a weapon component. I've collected four out of five. And there we go. We collected five out of five. We have the service carbine and $50,000. The service carbine's right. Oh my God, this is so great. I love this gun on my main account. This gun is so nice, dude. I am so happy. And I'm surprised I even got $50,000. I have never gone out and like collected all the crime seeds even before. God, I love this gun so much. In my opinion, it's the best AR of the game. Like, even better than the Mark II, like, assault rifles. Oh, I am so happy about that. And we get $50,000 on top of it, too. I mean, that is so cool. It is so tough to get, though. I think someone just tried to shoot a railgun shot at me, but they suck and missed. That's awesome, though. I am very happy about that. That was a good parachute. All right, but anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go... Wait, hold on. I'm actually gonna deposit my 50K or however much I have right now. I'm doing that because there are a few times where people try to mug me. Uh, so yeah, let's set up the Diamond Casino Ice for 25K. Uh, we're gonna scope out vault content, so that's all I'm gonna do right now. And then I'm gonna come back another day. I'm gonna do the Kyo Perico Heist that we just set up, and then we're gonna come back and do the Diamond Casino Heist. Oh yeah, I forgot to show. Today's another day, and I joined this session, I think, when there was like six people, but this session has definitely developed. And you can see now, there is no... No one in quadruple digits. I see one guy that's a 1,124. Yeah, it's literally it from this session that's above level 1,000, which is crazy. No, no. Don't know why you're coming after me. I'm so close to being done for today. Bro, this person's literally just waiting on me, too. I'm pulling out my Obey Ominous EGT. I haven't pulled it out a whole lot since I got the Oppressor Mark II, but here it is. My Amani Tech vehicle, or AKA my slap the person that's flying in the Oppressor trying to kill me car. I don't know. That has a pretty good ring to it, if you ask me. I mean, look. <laughs> Oop, it ran into a Hummer. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed. He tried to shoot an Oppressor shot at me, and you're probably like, no, he didn't. We didn't see it. Exactly. It was that far off because he sucks. Bro, there's like actually people at the casino this is gonna be interesting which i thought there was no dude no why is it mm -mm, that pisses me off why is there so many cops here no that is so stupid that pisses me off i have places i want to go and there's just like a ton of cops out of here oh now there's another this is a different guy coming after me now where is this guy oh yeah oh yeah nice shot wow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. So good. You're so good. Okay, literally all I need to do is just go inside the casino. I'm going to go around. I'm going around this way just to make sure that guy doesn't kill me. I don't have the greatest of feelings, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, a ton of people have commented like a different way where I can like reset the vault contents. So if I need to, then we'll try that out here today. The goal is I don't need to. That's the goal because, you know, the game's going to give me gold just straight off the bat because, you know, I haven't gotten gold at all during this series. I forced myself to get artwork a lot all right let's see let's see what do we got oh my god <laughs> we got gold we got <laughs> that is so funny. We don't need to reset anything here. That's what I want. Thank you. Oh my God, dude. I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying. How funny. That dude, I just called my shot. I called my shot. All right. So nothing crazy is going on here. So yeah, I just leave. Just get in my car. Um, And then we're going to drive away for a little bit. And there we go. Heist prep complete. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you, game.
All right, so yeah, I'm gonna come back another day. I'm gonna complete the guy break all ice and then fully set up that diamond casino ice and complete it. And I am pretty sure that should give me right around 4.3 million, roughly. I might need to do a small thing here and there just to get myself over that mark, but we're in a good position. All right, so I'm back for day number three for this episode. So we're gonna do a Cairo Perico heist finale, and then we're gonna go ahead and continue the setup and complete the Diamond Casino heist. But before we get into that, I actually was just like scheduling out like what videos I'm gonna do in the future and whatnot. And I'm just gonna give you a fair warning. Easter weekend or Saturday and Sunday, which will be March 30th and March 31st, we're posting two absolutely massive bangers on this channel. Absolutely massive videos. So mark the calendar for Saturday and Sunday for Easter weekend. I wasn't even planning on it being Easter weekend, but that's just how my scheduling fell through. So keep that in mind. But anyways, let's go ahead and do this Cayo Perico heist. All right, here we go. The Cayo Perico heist once again. That's actually my first Cayo Perico heist that I've done in... I gotta think about this. Oh, I think now it's four, 13 days. I think it's now 13 days. Jeez, dude. It's been a long, long time. And of course, the game gives me only two bundles. They're like, ah, welcome back, Dr. Crouch. You only get two bundles of gold. I mean, I guess they kind of like made up for it by giving me gold for the Diamond Casino heist, but like still, like, come on, man. All right, here we go. Give me a key card, please. I just need a key card. Key card from you, sir. That is not a key card. Great. Nope, that's not where I want to go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, that's where I meant to go. All right. <laughs> nice. Good start. Very good start, dude. All right, so key card. Yes, thank you, sir. We got a key card. I don't know where my teammate is. I told my teammate to follow me. He is not following me. I mean, I swore. I messaged him. I told him to follow me, and he's like AFK right now, and I assume he got caught. I didn't do anything wrong. That kind of sucks, so we're not going to get the elite challenge, which is great. That was a good run for us to actually get the elite challenge, because we we got a good key card spawn, but oh well. Oh my god, now my teammate's like actually trying to push his way through it. Dude, bro, we can make this so much easier, dude. Oh, okay, he finally gave up. All right, <laughs> let's try this again. Let's try this again. Uh, key card? No key card. All right, nice. Follow me. Follow me. Please follow me, guy. Nice. We got a key card there. Let's go. Nice. Very happy with that. Uh oh. I think my team. Uh oh. Well, we were not supposed to take out that guy. Okay, well, um, that guy's taken out. I know a lot of people commented saying that I should kill the Juggernaut, or that's what they like to do. I don't really like to kill the Juggernaut, but if I get, a, like, an opportunity to maybe do it, then sure, I'll do it for the video. I like to try to take out as... Oh my god, I completely forgot that guy even existed. I just ran right past that guy. <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, it's been such a long time. I, like, panicked for a second, but got the kill. But anyways, I think my teammate got caught. Oh my god, Dude, he needs to really follow me. Oh, he left. Well, that's great. This is like the first time in a long time where like I didn't actually know the person that I was going into a Kaya Prigo heist with. So that kind of sucks. All right, all right. We got a GTA 5 random in here. Yeah, we got our trusted friend in here. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully we can get elite challenge. Uh, Yeah, this guy's definitely done this with us before. And you should know just to follow me. You know, I've been thinking about it. If the first three guys that I like to take out, if none of them have a key card on them, then I'll go ahead and kill the juggernaut. And then we'll go from there. All right, attempt number two. Okay, uh, let's go over here. And then this guy's gonna have the key card. Never mind, I lied. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to lie like that. All right, then we're gonna go this way, right? And then we're gonna go over here because one of these two guys are gonna have the key card, right? Okay, okay. Literally, the three attempts that we've done so far today, all three of those attempts, literally, that guy has had the key card. I don't know what is up with that guy today, but I really do appreciate it. Okay, I need to remember that there's a guy up here because last time I was here, I completely forgot there was a guy here. But anyways, wait for this guy to turn the corner smack him in the face we get some gate keys how much money we get this time 61k i think that's like double what we had the first time around which is always an improvement oh you know what this would be a great time to take out the juggernaut i will have to say it is like prime time takeout time of the drug i didn't know you were right there i did not know he was right i see i thought he was below us dude oh my god i choked that dude i Damn it, that's on me. That's so stupid. Dude, I'm not even that bad at the Kyo Perico heist. It's just a little bit more variables that go into it when doing it with another person. And honestly, I'll place some of the blame on y'all for that one. Y'all peer pressured me to try to take out the juggernaut. Oh, great. Yeah, none of those guys had the key card. Oh, jeez, dude. Okay. All right, all right, all right. You know, I'll run up on the jug. I'll run up on the jug. All right, ready, set, knock him over. 
No, that is no, 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 no. You gotta be joking, dude. That is not what I looked up, dude. Oh my, I had a foolproof plan and it didn't work. Oh my god, that pisses me off so much. The plan was to knock him over. He falls on his face, and then while he's on the ground, pew pew pew, he's dead. Instead, he stumbles forward and like catches his footing, and then he kills me. You know, screw it. I'll just shoot him normally next time. Let's try to get all fancy with it. Nice, nah, got a key card like that. Oh, uh, we don't have to get keys. So we have to go this way right now. Now. My teammate's getting a painting, which is okay. We can get a painting under these circumstances. Okay, I got the hack done. Oh, uh, this is literally the furthest we've been, which is embarrassing to say. But we're gonna go back outside because we have to go get some bundles of gold and then I think a little bit of cash just to kind of top everything off. Let's head back this way and then, yeah, let's go get our bundles of gold. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye out on this guard. This might be getting a little too close. Okay, his bag is filled up though. There's still more gold. I'm gonna wait because there's a guard right out. Uh oh. He just walked right past the guard. I'm just trying to keep tabs on where that guard is. Can't see, like, clearly his cone of vision. There we go. That's it. That's all I need. All right, sweet. Let's get out. Yeah, at least we don't have the spot that I hate. I'm very happy about that. All right, so yeah, we need to go here. And then we're going to go inside. And then I'm going to collect this full bundle of gold. I got to go find another bundle of cash. But I think there's some in the basement, if I remember correctly. All right, so I'm going to get this bundle of cash right here. And this is going to fill up my loot bag. And my teammates' loot bags already filled up. So yeah, we should be good after this. Okay, there we go. We're inside of the safe. We're going to get ourselves some nice bearer bonds. And now let's get out of here, please. This has been a disaster. <laughs> Finally, I've put together a pretty good run. I'm drawing a blank on exactly how I like to escape out of here. You know what? I'll go this way. It's been a little bit since, you know, I haven't had gate keys. Yeah, then we go this way. And then we kind of just run behind these guards. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's how I do it when I don't get gate keys. Okay. All right, so now we can finally just run off this island. All right, finally, we've completed this heist. Jeez, that took longer than it should. All right, how much money are we going to make? Uh, 1 million 500 into oh dude no way 1 million 295 thousand dollars dude oh my bro that was with bear bonds too which i know it's not that much better than tequila but still bro that was awful oh dude that was great thank you game that wasn't on hard mode either that was on normal mode but still and we didn't get the elite challenge because i suck all right so now i'm sitting on two million five hundred and twenty five thousand dollars uh we still need to make what is it 1.8 million dude i thought i was gonna get a little more for that when we don't get three bundles of gold it kind of ruins the entire heist as you saw right there. But anyways, we still need to do our Diamond Casino Eye. So yeah, let's go start setting that up. Bro, bro, no shot. Game, game, game. No, no, uh-uh, no, no, no. I literally have it recorded, me doing this vault contents. Dude, no, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I need you to pull out your finest piece of paper. Game, Rockstar Games, to be exact. And I need you to pull out your best pen. Make sure it's full of ink and everything. And I need you to hand write an apology i don't like doing a vault content setup twice you know i don't think the vault content setup is all that fun i do it because i want to get it done uh-uh uh -uh, no a written apology now pronto wait hold on it's not actually let me do any dude no i accidentally clicked the scope out casino no that is not what i wanted dude hopefully that's just like a little bug if it's a bug i'll forgive but my goodness all right, we're back into a different session. Yeah, dude, why? Why? No. No, 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 no. That's not how things work, game. Bro, what is your problem with me, dude? It's not even giving me an option to do this, so it's like some sort of bug. Do I have to leave my arcade and come back in? All right, all right, all right. I'm walking back in now. Let's go check. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It was a false alarm. Okay, I still might need that written apology. Maybe not necessarily for making me do it again, but for absolutely just faking me out. Uh, we're gonna be doing the silent and sneaky approach. Uh, we're going to be doing it on hard mode. I haven't really been looking forward to this. You know, silent and sneaky can be a little bit annoying. But yeah, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. All right, anyways, let's select our support crew right here. Gunman, Carl is the usual. Driver is going to be Kareem. We don't need a good driver. And then our hacker, Paige Harris, is going to be our hacker. Since she's our best hacker. And this is the first time, I think, in a long time that we've gotten anything other than artwork. I'm going to do this with two people. And we're not going to be able to get all the loot, unfortunately. If I had three, okay, maybe I can get it with two. I don't know. It'd be really close. I don't know. But three, I could definitely get it all. But anyways, yeah, we're going to get pay chairs. We're going to try to get most of all the gold. But yeah, I'm going to go through all these setups. Um, I might actually do the patrol route setup this time around just to know where all the guards are. But yeah, I'm going to go through all these setups. And if anything crazy happens, I'll let you know. Well, this is awkward. Who is this? 
Well, that's a little embarrassing. You couldn't even kill me? Oh, there you go. Okay. I heard a Raiju coming in, and I was like, hmm? What is this? Once again, what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> Bro, how? It's fine. Okay, well, there goes my oppressor. Uh, I don't know who's after me. I don't know if this guy's on the map or... I mean, there's a guy that was kind of far away, but I didn't really expect him to hit a shot from that far away. Because some guy messaged me saying, cry. I'm, I'm just drowning in tears right now, I guess. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I just got the message from Pavel where I can start up another Kayaprico heist. Which I'm just going to pay for the setup cost so we can get it on hard mode for our next time doing it. But dude, I feel like every time, like in the middle of me trying to set up a diamond casino heist when i like take a break and go ahead and start up another kaya preco heist i feel like every time i'm trying to go on my journey back over to the Kasatka, just someone's after me dude i don't get it i don't get it i don't know why all right yeah we've seen this screen before a ton but setup cost for a hundred thousand but it says setting up now we'll set the heist on hard mode and yeah we're gonna do this just so we can have it for our next time doing the kaya preco heist so we now need to make like 1.9 million now <laughs> but yeah i think i have two more setups left for the diamond casino so yeah, let me go finish that and we'll be ready to go. All right, so we finally got all the setups done. So yeah, we're ready to go for the finale. All right, so let's go ahead and select everything here. Entrance, staff lobby, exit, staff lobby, buyer. We want to go to the high level buyer and ooh, try to think about this. We have a potential take of $2,161,000. Really doubt we're going to get all of that. We might get, I don't know, let's just say, I'll say 1.8. I think 1.8 million. I think that's fair. Okay, yeah. 1.8 million, I think, will be the rough cut that we're going to get between the two of us. That's going to be my prediction. So, yeah, we have a guy in here who's a level 354. Uh, he messaged me in one of the sessions and was like, yo, do you need help? And I'm like, bro, I got you, dude. You can help me out during this. <laughs> yeah, this is the harder version of this heist. You know, I think it's actually been three weeks since I've done a silent and sneaky approach, which is not a good thing. Big con approach, I mean, I can do that in my sleep, no problem. This, on the other hand, a little difficult. It's just a little tricky. Hopefully, I remember everything, do it all smoothly do it first attempt get elite challenge while we're at it i doubt any of that's gonna happen <laughs> all right here we go let's go uh, let's get out our stun gun go well, bam get this thing out and we go nice good okay there's a camera right here i want to stun that camera oh yeah i like going this way i forgot about that i like to go this way take that guy out can i go in that i can good i'd rather go in this way there's one guy right there not anymore that guy is dead having done the patrol route mission i think it's really helping out i can literally see where every guard is which is nice no, don't say it was me. No, that was my teammates. I mean, no offense to my teammate, but that was his fault. I was literally behind the door, protected. So unfortunately, we're not getting elite challenge. We're not doing this first attempt, but it's all right. I don't know, it's kind of weird. You have that big window right there. The guards can't see you through those big windows, but then the swinging doors, there's like a little window in the doors. They see you through that. And that's what happened there. My teammate was in the vantage point of one of those doors. Okay, so you see right here, I'm clearly out the way of this window. Okay, good. Okay, so they get caught that time. Go, go through the door moron okay smack him in the face nice okay but anyways i'm opening up this vault door right here so hopefully my teammate will understand my teammate's not getting it T hello hello okay fine you hold it in okay 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 now i'll get my teammate to do it instead okay now we're in uh, let's see how much money we get in here oh whoa we're gonna get a lot each stack is like two thousand holy dude we're gonna get like a hundred grand out of this dude that's massive so yeah this is not the run to screw up on i swear this is not the run to absolutely do anything stupid on i mean it's already above like seventy thousand now bro are we gonna touch 100 oh no we're a little shy 96 though that's nice dude i like that very happy with that so yeah let's not screw up okay ready set melee good stuff i like to take out that camera hopefully that's not a big deal okay now there's a guard that's gonna walk through this door right here we're gonna melee him Bop like that. Good. So now we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way. We're going to hug the wall. We like hugging walls. Okay, let's take out that guy. My teammate took out a guy that I usually don't take out, but hopefully that's not a big deal. But it seems like we're doing all right. We haven't been alerted. So yeah, let's head over to the vault door. Start drilling our way through here. All right, so my teammate's still drilling, but my goal is for us when we get inside of the vault, I just start hacking and then my teammate will go ahead and start collecting everything. All right, here we go. We're about to get into the vault. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get our 
our gold. Let's get our gold. Our first time touching gold on the Diamond Casino eyes. All right, let's go. I'm going to start hacking. I'm starting. Okay, there's a lot of targets from the looks of it that are outside, like in this main like area, which is good. That's very good for us. Okay, nice. Good, good. Got one hack done. Good. I like that. I like that. Uh, do I have to do another hack through here? Of course I do, because, you know, they never let me get away with just only doing one hack. Thank you, game. Really appreciate it. All right, all right. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, I'm going to start collecting loot. Uh, there's going to be some on the right-hand side as you walk into this main vault that I don't know the situation. You know what? I can look, kind of. It doesn't look like it's unlocked over there, unfortunately, so I might have to go over there and start hacking. I do have time, I think. That wasn't too long for us to collect the gold right there. So, yeah, I'm going to go over there now. Oh, wait, no, it is unlocked. What the? Oh, my teammate is hacking. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. Hopefully, my teammate can do the hack because it's a little bit of an interesting hack if you haven't done it before because literally everything now is like exposed, not behind a hack wall, except for the one he's going for, which is now going to cost me a little bit of money, which kind of sucks. Yeah, he's still on the hack right now. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, he finally got through the hack, though, so he can maybe get that bundle of gold, but maybe only that bundle of gold. All right, I have 30 seconds. I might risk it and try to get one more bundle or maybe a few bars. Where Game. No, that just dumb, dude. Made me run right past it. Get a few bundles at 11 seconds. Stop. Okay, okay. I'm gonna run. Let's get out. Let's get out. Three, two, one, zero. Nope, nope. I'm not doing this aggressively. No, no, that sucks. Yeah, I got to communicate with them. Hold on. Okay, I will have to say, though, I think we can actually get all the bundles of gold, which is kind of surprising. I wasn't expecting that. But I actually think with this loadout or this, like, where everything's at, I actually think we can collect it all. Dude, he was, like, a second late. It was quite literally, like, one second late. But, yeah, if he made it in time, then that smoke wouldn't have come into play. Oh, yeah, then the reason we didn't leave the man trap and then die is because uh, we spawned back here. You were still stealthy at this point. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to stay stealthy. All right, how much money are we going to get out of here this time? Last time it was like 2k per stack. Oh, we're barely going to make anything. Last time it was like 2k per stack. Now it's like $650 per stack. Whew. I mean, it's not the most important thing in the world. We're looking more towards like the gold. Oh my God, we're not even going to touch 30k. Like we were like flirting with 100k last time. <laughs> we can't even get 30 this time around. Wow, dude. Okay, good. Took out that guy. So I think we can do the same thing that we did last time. I mean, I'm still going to focus on this one guy right here. Then we're going to walk through here. And then we're going to go back here. Okay. All right, here we go. Attempt number two. Yeah, I definitely communicated with my teammate. Let me do all the hacks. And there's only a total of three hacks, which is incredibly, incredibly nice. So yeah, I'm just going to get started with the hacks. So yeah, literally there's no hacks on the right-hand side of the room. There's two over here. And then there's one like in that middle section. Okay, there we go. One hack done. Good. So it took me roughly 20 20 seconds. It'll take me ideally like a minute, maybe like a minute 10 to do all the hacks. And then after that, I'll start collecting gold. Okay. I screwed up that hack a little bit. That's on me. All right. So I'm going to go in. I'm actually going to collect this bundle just so he doesn't have to run over here and collect it. I think that's a little smarter. And then if you see on the mini map, D is behind a hack wall. That's it. That's the only thing that's behind a hack wall. Everything else is exposed. So I'll do that hack. Then I'll collect that. And then we should be good to go. I think we should be very, very close. Oh, wait, hold on. No, my teammate's going after you. Wait, Wait, what? Oh, okay. So D's not the one behind the hack. Uh, so which one's behind the hack though? Oh, oh, it's over here. Oh, there's two bundles behind this hack wall. Ooh, I probably should have gone for this one first then. Oops, I did not know that. Oh my God, I'm not used to this one. Oh my God, I'm not used to this one. I'm gonna choke on this one, dude. Oh my God, that took me a while, dude. Okay, we can get these two bundles and we're gonna have to get out of here. Dang it, dude. I didn't know there's two bundles back here. I thought there was only one. Bro, I do not want to fail this again. It'd be some kind of embarrassing if I fail this again dude. It's coming down to the wire once again. Okay, there we go. 10 sec. Oh, dude. Dude, we're not gonna make it out again. And we have gold, and we're going so slow. God damn it. Oh my god, dude. I didn't know there was two bundles. I swore. During that first attempt, I thought there was only one bundle back there. Dude, oh my god. That one's on me. Yeah, so now we gotta do this all over again, which is so annoying. Okay, that time we got 80,000. Okay. Can we please let this be the run? Please. That'd be great. Third time is a charm. I know to go just straight back and start hacking. Okay. Instead of going for that side one where there's only one bundle. I just want to expose those two bundles right there so then my teammate can hopefully get those. Dude, I am not a fan of this one finger 
fingerprint. I have not gotten this fingerprint at all, dude. Yeah, that one took me like 30 seconds. We're wasting time, dude. I'm wasting 10 seconds of precious time trying to do that stupid hack. Okay, but anyways, expose those two, which is massive. So I'm gonna go over here and do this hack. Okay, that one was a little better. I still failed though. I'm just not on my hacking game today. It is my first time in like two weeks, so there's my excuse. <laughs> but still, I gotta be better, dude. I have to. Okay, there we go. I did that one in 20 seconds or less than actually. Good. Now I'll start collecting. Okay, I got that bundle. Good. We have like 50 seconds. Problem is my teammate didn't collect it in an efficient way. So now we have to run all the way back over here and try to collect like this final one. Can I? Oh, I didn't realize that was behind a hack. Oh, he did two hacks. Oh, okay. So yeah, we'll let my teammate collect that last bundle. I'm just gonna chill out out here. Okay. Oh no, we are still not gonna make it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy. I'm getting pissed, dude. I'm getting so pissed. Yep, we gotta do this a fourth time. We have to do this a freaking fourth time. We have to be like so precise, so perfect. Like it's not even funny. Like essentially my teammate, he started collecting stuff like right at the front, you know, immediately as we walk in. I want him to start collecting stuff from the back and then work his way to the front. Like it's literally a matter of seconds that we're like screwing this up by. All right, so we're going in here for a freaking fourth time now, but I told my teammate this time to start collecting in the back and then start working your way towards the front. So essentially, instead of like collecting all the loot that's like, you know, right next to where we just walked in, start collecting stuff in the back. And I want him to do that so he doesn't run into the problem of being stuck in the back with like 10 seconds just to run out. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, that hack was a lot quicker that time. I'm very happy with that. Nice, nice, good. So he can start with that. Good, good, good. That's massive. Finally, I'm getting my hacks down now, dude. I'm getting the hacks down. Let's go over here. Nice. Got that done. Got that done. Huge. Okay, yeah, my hacking game has gotten better. All right, so now me and my teammate are collecting two on the outside, and then there's like two bundles on the inside, A and B, if you can see on the mini map right there. So we're working on the outside, and then we're going to work towards the inside. We're going to abandon H. We're going to be cutting it too close if we try to get H. But then once we get A and B, we should have plenty of time to get out of here. Oh, yeah, also when you get gold, the gold weighs you down. You run slower if you have gold. All right, yeah, let's just get out. Let's just get out now. All right, sweet, I'm out. Teammates coming out. <laughs> okay, finally, we made it out, dude. Oh my gosh. All right, so on the way back, it's gonna be a little interesting. So we need to go right here. We need to hug the wall. Hug the wall. Oh, okay, my teammate just cut me off. Just go. All right, okay, okay, no, he understood. He understood the assignment. That's on me. That's on me. I failed. Wait, no one heard that? Oh, okay. Okay. You know, I'll just keep going just for the sake of it. That was weird. Wait, what? Oh, 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 okay. I think that was the person that I killed. I think our timing was a little bit off. I think that was technically my fault. All right, all right, all right. This is the one thing about the silent and sneaky approach. You have to be so perfect and so precise on a lot of different things. It's so annoying. All right, so we made it to this point once again. So yeah, this part is not too bad, but you have to be perfect. So stealth, stealth, stealth melee okay teammate i guess is gonna go for it all right i'm gonna get my teammate to go click the vault again i didn't say this out loud but we got thirty-five thousand on the first time around let's see how much money we get this time it's gonna be a decent amount i think okay okay let's go let's go let's go run out here run through here okay there he is okay cool 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 cool, cool. all right we're, we're good we're good so we're leaving out of here with two million five hundred sixty four thousand dollars so i think we technically left like three hundred thousand dollars on the table with one bundle of gold still there you know not the biggest deal in the world in my opinion i gotta remember i think i can take out one cop and then we should be good i think this cop right here i could just melee him i think we could still be stealthy oh dude we got a good spawn location for our getaway vehicle which is nice nice dude all right we get into a vehicle teammate wants to get in his own vehicle he should know where he's going if he pay attention to my channel bro 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 i'm gonna die there's no way. I never die on that drive. Hold on. Let me message this guy. Hold on. Yeah, let me just send that to him. Good Lord. Let's just be honest here. <laughs> I mean, come on. All right, I'm in the helicopter. My teammate's getting in the helicopter. All right, send over to the buyer. Please. All right, but there we go. First attempt, heist pass. Dude, that's so easy. That's so flawless, too. All right, so actual take of $1,938,000. You get 85% of that, which is $1,647,000. Not too bad at all. Um, I don't know why it's saying we didn't get the elite challenge, and it's saying that we did quick restart. We did this first attempt. Like, come on, come on, game. All right, so after that heist, I'm now sitting on $4,058,000, and we actually need to get $4.5 I forgot to mention earlier in this episode that it's going to 
take roughly $200,000 to put weapons on it, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go out and get an extra 200,000. So we're gonna do one more thing this episode. Hmm, Vincent, hmm, hmm, Vincent, interesting. Hmm, Vincent, hmm, hmm. Now you're probably thinking like, Dr. Crush, why are you talking about Vincent? You just said you weren't going to do the Cluck and Bell form raid at the beginning of this episode because it doesn't make sense for a bad sport lobby. Well, I've done a lot this episode and we're still short on money. So we're actually gonna go ahead and do a Cluck and Bell form raid. But yeah, we'll do this once. We'll do one Cluck and Bell form raid. That's pretty much gonna be it. Get a first time bonus too. All right, so yeah, here we go. We're doing the Cluck and Bell raid. We're doing this first mission. Essentially, we have to go. We're collecting stuff from washing machines. That's pretty much it. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about though. This is like an actual mission. You can clearly see I'm the only one here in this session because, well, this is a mission. And this is literally my first time doing this mission like legit because the first time I did it, I did it without getting a kill. Now I'm free to get kills. So this would be great. Now I definitely did watch a ton of like videos on like how to do this. So I definitely know what I'm doing when it comes to all this stuff. All right, there we go. We've collected all the cash. So I think we should have to leave, right? All right. And there we go. We've made it back here. And there we go. Mission passed. Yeah, we don't get any money from doing these setups. We just get a big payday for the finale. All right, here we go. We're doing the mission breaking and entering. This is one where we have to go steal a laptop, which is annoying. And then we have to go get something from a terabyte. I'll head over to the laptop first. All right, so we have to find a laptop here. Um, Problem is it is so annoying to try to find this laptop. Oh, wait, I found it. Never mind. I lied. It's right here. Dude, he knocked the dunce cap off of me, dude. No. Well, that was embarrassing. All right, so I made it over towards the train. So I have to take out a bunch of people. Try to find where a key's at. Oh, I found the key there. Okay. Shot a random rocket and just landed on a key. All right, so now we just have to steal the train and literally just drive a train. All right, and there we go. Finally got that done. And there we go. Mission passed. Let's move on to the next mission. All right, so we're jumping into the third mission right here. It's concealed weapons. So we have to go out and steal a bunch of weapons and equipment. This one's pretty quick. I'm just going to go to the closest one, the easiest one, which I think is A. All right, so we're going to deliver our weapons right here and deliver our gear. And we're going to come confirm that and there we go mission pass let's move on to the next one all right here we go doing the mission hit and run kind of same as last time we're trying to pick up a vehicle i'll probably go to location a once again i think yeah, i'll go to location a so yeah, essentially we just steal a vehicle bring it uh wait no we deliver it to the cluck and bell farm all right so we need to find the getaway vehicle i don't know i've never done this one before i think the only time i've done this i went to location b where oh it's over here i'm being stupid i know this i've seen video Videos on this come on so yeah we need to take out a few of these guys um we need to get in here wait where's the fuse box oh it's up here got it okay so now let's get into the getaway vehicle and then we just have to take it to the cluck and bell farm and that's it all right so we've made it over to the cluck and bell farm all right and there we go mission pass we have one more setup to do and then we have the finale all right so we're jumping to the final setup right here which is gonna be disorganized crime all right so i've made it over to this outlet um so we need to start taking out a few people ah uh, this guy's definitely important to take out this guy right here is important to take out we need to sabotage the trucks first or i guess it doesn't really matter what order i don't think i don't know i haven't done this like legit legit yeah you want to try to do this stealthy at least in my opinion it'll probably be better it's a little easier during the finale if you're stealthy i want to take out that guy then take out that guy then take out this camera so that camera doesn't see anything then come over here they got that guy then we're gonna go over here we're gonna wipe the cctv so they didn't see a thing and this is important because if you don't wipe out the CCTV, you won't be able to do this stealthy. And then, you know, I might as well just kill everyone, to be honest. You can die. You can die. You can die. You can die. Um, I need a drill. Here's a drill right here. Okay, there's going to be two more people in here. One two uh we're gonna start to drill but as soon as we start to drill we need to press b yeah just drill a little bit then press b because two people spawn in just gonna hit them like that Oh, okay. So don't do that. Don't melee them because they actually see you. You know, it's not like the Diamond Casino eyes where there's like a little bit of delay before they alert everyone. It's immediate they alert everyone. But I took everyone out though. So it's not a big deal. But yeah, we just need to drill lockers until we find a key card. That's pretty much it. Okay, finally, I got the key card. So now we can leave the garage and that's all we have to do. All right, and you'll know if you did this right if you get this truck to spawn out of here. All right, and there we go. That setup has passed. So we are ready to go with the finale. Oh, we actually made 34 
4K out of that? Huh. I thought we didn't get a whole lot of money out of that. I know it's double money for this week that I'm recording this, but still. Okay, whatever. But yeah, it's time for the finale. All right, here we go. My first ever Cluck and Bell form raid, like actually doing it legit where I can actually take out people. All right, here we go. We're getting out of our crate. Let's do it. All right, so I'll probably show you how I'm going to do this. I don't know if it's like the right way. You don't have to kill everyone. I did that when I tried to kill as little people as possible. Uh, let's see. We have to take out this guy, then this guy, then this guy. Cool. Good, good, good. Let's take out this guy. Okay, let's take out that guy. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. We're not flawless, but I mean, we're doing all right. We're still stealth. Technically, my first real attempt at this. Okay. Um, you don't have to take out this guy. I realize that, but we'll do it anyways for fun. Here we go. Everyone's dead. Let's go steal the cola. Yeah, the one thing with this, like, raid is so weird. Like, we're stealing a bunch of different things. There's not, like, one specific target. We're just, like, taking everything. I don't know. I just find that interesting. Like, you know, Diamond Casino Heist, gold was our primary target. The Kaya Prigo Heist, our primary target was Bearer Bonds. But then we also had, like, secondary loot. Let's just get everything. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take out that guy there. I'm gonna take out this guy here. And then I'm gonna take you out there. Okay, cool. We're good. Okay, so let's take out that guy. And let's walk over over here take out that guy there's the only two people in here so with this outfit we already have a crowbar so we can just go ahead and collect the cola and the cola is going to be on the two back crates always hmm i'm gonna take this guy out now i'm gonna take that guy out there there's a guy right here he's on his phone take him out Take that guy out. Take that guy out. Okay, we're good. I think there's literally everyone, or most everyone. So I have to go back and go to the, all those computers and try to find a safe code. See, so yeah, we have to go to, like, these computers, and then we get, like, the data, which is weird. So we don't have to, like, actually like, do anything with the computers. Okay, there's a second one. Where's the third one? Okay, there we go. That's all the data we needed to steal. Let's head over. Let's enter the combination. Wait, what is the combination? Oh, 46, 57, 96. Okay, 46, 57, 96. Nice. What are we stealing? Cash. Okay. Alarm is going off, but they don't know where we're at. So now let's leave the Cluck and Bell factory. Okay, we're still stealth at the moment. Why are you on your phone, dude? Okay, fine. Huh? Did I miss that shot? Okay, I'll be honest. I wasn't even looking when I shot. Oh, uh, let's take out this guy. Cool. Take out that guy and then take out this guy. Okay, cool. I think that should be everyone that we need to take out, I think. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go get our vehicle. And then we're going to head this way on the train tracks. Now, you could actually call in your personal vehicle, like roughly in here or whatever. But honestly, bro, I didn't even call that in. I don't even know what happened. I didn't call that in. It just spawned in. What is this spawn? I didn't call that in. That is so weird but it's here can i even get in this okay i mean we need to hurry up because there's a cop driving right at me oh my god how does that cop not see me i'm in his cone of vision bro i was literally like living in his cone of vision and he didn't see me that was weird so yeah now we just need to deliver the loot to vincent's lockup all right there we go we've made it back to vincent we have to sit through a cutscene. all right and there we go finale pass so we make five hundred thousand dollars off of that but we get a first time bonus also which is going to be very nice and there you go as you can see in the top right we just got a two hundred and fifty thousand dollars first time bonus so in total we made seven hundred and eighty four thousand dollars so now we're sitting on four million eight hundred and twenty two thousand dollars which is enough for us to purchase and upgrade the deluxo and there's the deluxo buy it now we'll put it in my auto shop so i can customize it very quickly and yeah um as far as the cluck and bell raid is concerned that's probably the only time for this series i'm gonna do the cluck and bell raid yeah we really don't get a lot of action as far as like a bad sport lobby is concerned so we'll stay away from it from here on out all right, and here is our Deluxo right here. So let me go customize this thing real quick. Wait, huh? What? Wait, wait, what? Do I already have weapons on this thing? Am I being stupid? Do I already have weapons and I don't even really even need to customize this. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't I have weapons? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. Essentially, I need a special person to upgrade it. Okay. I know, that makes no sense. Here, I'll show you probably the cheapest way to do it. I think Arena War is probably the cheapest way to go about it i could purchase a workshop and you just go to mechanic and then go to weapons expert which is gonna be <laughs> nice two million dollars roughly 1.7 million just to get that okay that kind of throws a wrench into my plans for the rest of this series but okay i mean yeah you can purchase an moc and then what is it i put the personal vehicle workshop wait is that right oh wait no i just got personal vehicle storage i need a vehicle workshop so definitely arena war is cheaper than the avenger you can also get it with the avenger 
Avenger, but the Avenger sucks. It literally has a buy now price of 3 million. Yeah, no, no, stupid. So yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and get ourselves the Arena War just to get that. But hey, we got ourselves a Deluxo this episode. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking next episode, we're gonna need to buy a lot of different things. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty interesting. But yeah, make sure you don't miss out on that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Make sure you check out this video right here if you wanna see me play every single GTA game ever created.